Have you ever been there? You study relentlessly for a coding interview for one or two months. You go to all the design patterns, the design principles, the coding interview, the queries, the SQL. And finally, after 15 interviews or so, you land your dream job. Or maybe not the dream job, but a job. Only after two or three months, you forget everything that you studied. Um, I think I have the solution. And uh, the solution contains Python and databases. And we are going to create an application that, that will help us study like a pro for the coding interviews. Look no further. The cool thing is, we already have the basics with Python from our standard reminder app from the previous week. I'm going to link down in the description um, the previous video, so you can check it out if you want. Uh, it will be easier for you to follow this application. First things first though, uh, let's start with some tutorials because my knowledge in Python and databases is not existent and th this is going to be new for me too. Let's go! I'm not sure how to do a, a cool transition so that's it. Time to test my drawing skills and uh, my incredible database knowledge skills. Uh, let's try to create um, a proper diagram for how our database is going to look like. And after this, we are going to try and create um, this model with script. First um, actual table that uh, we are going to need is a category table. This table is going to have an ID, a name, and a parent ID. Uh, in order for us to um, satisfy uh, this parent ID, uh, we, are going, we are going to reference the same table with a foreign key. Meaning, um, we uh, want to have a category pre design principles and design patterns. Uh, the principle and the patterns are going to be under one category, design. Um, next um, table we need is questions. Uh, this table um, is going to have an ID, text and category. ID. One category can have multiple questions and one question can have only one category, meaning this is one too many uh, connection between the two tables. And of course, every question must have its proper answers. Again, we have an ID, a text, a Boolean field, um, to check out if this answer is the true or false some boolean we are going to decide how to name it later and of course a foreign key to question and again the connection between the two tables is one question can have multiple answers and one answer can only be connected to one question which, which is again one too many uh, okay, uh, this is the diagram that we're going to follow, so let's try and code it.
nice. Okay, guys, uh, those are the inserts I wrote down. Um, I mainly created those for design patterns and uh, design principles. Here's how it looks in the DB itself. You can see here all of the answers and uh, the current categories that I have inserted. And of course, all of the questions. Uh, and in the program, you will see how uh, we can actually use those inserts. Uh, all right, uh, we already have a working uh, database. Uh, so all, th uh, all things set and uh, everything that's left to do is actually write down the full application and test it afterwards. Okay, now it's time to actually test the app and of course how else to test it well while studying we are enjoying ourselves and playing some Diablo uh, okay uh, let's try it let me prepare you to crush the coding interview okay do your job current category is principles question is define single responsibility principle Class, package, method should only have one reason to change. So far, mm, I'm not acquiring a lot of information. I must be honest with you. But I'm having fun though. Question is, define open-closed principle. Open-closed principle. Software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification. Question is, define Liskov substitution principle. Subtypes must be substitutable for their base types. Use composition instead of inheritance. Okay, uh, thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like it for more videos, bye!